it is Jake Hansen, and today I am joined by my little furry critters. So we're gonna do a dog tag today, and I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram, and yeah, here they are. Um, I'm sorry if they're a little bit noisy, but this is literally the only way that I can get these guys to sit down and stay here. So, first let's start off with their names. This is Sona, Sona K. Pind, and Penny K. Pind. Sona is actually a full-bred German Shepherd, a purebred German Shepherd, so she's she's a pretty big mama. And then Penny is actually a Maltese and a Poodle Link, so she's a multi poop. And how old are your dogs? So Sona is about a year and a half old, while Penny is about a year old. She turned one in December, she turned one in February. Who is your favorite dog? I don't really have a favorite. They're both pretty chill. They both are very, very like, you know, needy. Which one of your pets gives you? There's also gonna be a lot of moving in this, in this video because my dogs do not like to sit still for even a second. So, who gives you a harder time? I would definitely say Penny does. Penny is always looking for some kind of mischief. So yeah, she she definitely does not understand the concept that she is small. She doesn't understand what small means. What is your favorite thing to do with your pets? My favorite thing to do is actually sit here on their little mattress and we like to watch little movies. And we'll just like kind of lay here and they'll lay here and it'll just kind of be a fun time until a dog barks and then we'll bark right back at it. What are bad habits that your pets have? Barking at the neighbor's dogs, they do that all the time. Like if the neighbor's dog bark, they get very, very intense and protective. What is your funniest memory with your pets? So I don't really have a funny memory with you, but I do have a funny memory with Sona. So we used to take her for walks during the summer and behind our house is like a green belt. And in, those, in that green belt, there's like little alleyways. So in those alleyways, you can come and go into the neighborhood and that's what kind of connects everything. So I remember we went for a walk and we were, we were taking a rest and there's like this little tiny dog and she's wearing a harness and she somehow gets out of her harness and she just bolts. She just bolts after this dog, after this tiny little dog. And I'm like running after her for like, like, cause she runs fast. She can pick up some major speed if she's like running. So I'm just trying to like catch up to her. And when I get there, I'm like, she's probably attacking this dog. It's probably so bad. And when I get there, she's sniffing this little dog's butt. And I'm like, what is going on? This is not okay. What personality traits do, do your dogs have? So Sona is very, Sona's very curious. She is, she likes to explore, but she's also very lazy and she's very protective. So she's just kind of like chill. If you're there, all right, I'm gonna get excited, but not too excited. Penny, on the other hand, is 120% all the time. What other pets do you have? So actually, um, if you have been following me long enough, you will know that I actually have five bunnies and a bunch of fish and these guys. So I technically have like seven plus pets. How did you come up with your pet's name? So, Sona I actually got to name because when we brought her home, she was a lot more golden in color. And I actually thought that she was gonna stay that way. So I named her Sona, which is, Sona actually means gold in Punjabi. So I named her Sona after gold. And then Penny, Penny was actually uh, like pretty copper when we got her. So we ended up naming her Penny because she was so small. She was tiny. Um, I'll put, insert pictures of how small she was. And she was so small. She was like, like she could fit right into your two hands, in your palms. All right, so Sona decided that she has better things to do. Um, so we're gonna finish this with Penny. So how did we, how did you end up getting your pet in an Indian household? So Sona we actually got from my cousins. Their parents just didn't wanna keep her. So we ended up taking Sona in because we already had bunnies and our house was kind of normalized. Um, there she goes. So our house was kind of normalized to pets um, in general. We ended up getting the bunnies as a birthday gift for my little brother. All right, um, so we that's how we ended up getting um, my house normalized. Um, so the first day that Sona was actually here, I remember my mom was like, no way, we're not having a dog. I don't care, I don't want her. The second or third day, my mom kind of realized that she really, really liked the dog. And that's when my mom was like, okay, fine, we're gonna keep her. 
and it's okay, but she has to be an outdoor dog. So she's been an outdoor dog since about day one. And I think she likes it. I think there's a lot more space out here for her to do, you know, whatever she wants. And she was kind of lonely up until we got Penny. And we got Penny, there was like a period where like Penny was just way too small for her to play with. And every single time that Penny and Sona would meet, they would actually like, you know, Sona would just pummel her. And so it was hard to get them to kind of like be like, okay, this is okay, this is not okay. Especially because I still don't think that Sona knows how big she is and that can be problematic sometimes. How, how did they start getting along? So we would give them about like 15 to 20 minutes because um, we got Penny when she was really, really little. Penny was about this small and she didn't even know how to walk at that point. Supervised playtime that, um, you know, we were there just in case, you know, she was being too harsh with Penny or whatever. And we didn't let her do that until like Penny was about like, probably like, like 12 to 14 weeks old. That's like the first time that they met and stuff. And Sona was always really excited, but she's always been very clumsy. She's been a clumsy little bub. And so for her, it was more of like, oh my God, I get a playmate. And Penny was just like, no. No, ma'am. It was hard. It was hard to get them to get along. And it was, I think, even harder for them to get along with my mom because my mom is so incredibly afraid of dogs. But now they're friends. They're, um, they get along. My mom lets them out every morning. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll touch them and stuff. But it was hard. It was hard to get them adjusted to, like, being here and stuff. Otherwise, Sona had only seen my cousin's dog, Ghost has like an Alaskan Malamute and um, Siberian Husky mix. And that is the only other sort of, you know, dogs that Sona had ever met. And Penny was small. And so it was harder for her to kind of understand how to play with her. But the cool thing is, is that Penny actually enjoys playing with larger dogs. She doesn't trust little dogs because when we take when we used to take her to the dog park before coronavirus happened she would get really really excited about about playing with the bigger dogs because she wanted to be around sona and whenever we took her to like the little dog section like the 25 under um section she would just bark at all the dogs she would be like i don't trust don't come near me don't don't you dare like you know that kind of thing and she hated it. She hate she hated little dog. And I think one advantage of her being on the on the bigger dog side was that whenever she would get really scared or whatever, or if a dog would sniff her butt and she didn't like it, or she didn't like it, she would literally run and she would run. She would sit right under like she would literally run into like Sona's like legs and be like, okay, what you gonna do now? Touch me now! I dare you. Um, and Sona was always very, very protective. She still is very, very protective. Anytime Ghost comes over, or we had um, one of their pet friends, um, Gubber come, came over for a little while, and they're just super protective. This is our stuff, do not touch it. She'll, they'll start barking, and I'm like, okay, all right, we get it. I also got a lot of questions about play dates with little kids or with, with other dogs. Once this coronavirus is over, you guys, you best believe that me and my dogs are gonna have the best social life of our lives. All right, you guys, those are my dogs. This is Penny and this is Sona. So if, if you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you guys had fun. I thought I just thought this would be a fun video to film, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed our little matching outfits. And yeah, let me know what other videos I should film for you guys next. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.